Welcome to my lecture online. Here review the basic principles of fluid flow in a pipe. So first let's say we have a pipe that is continuous in cross-sectional area and let's say that fluid is flowing through the pipe at 5 meters per second and the cross-sectional area is 0.2 square meters. What is the amount of fluid per unit time that flows through the pipe? And we can represent that by dv dt, v being volume. So how much volume of fluid per unit time flows through the pipe? And it is the area times the velocity. So we multiply the cross-sectional area times the velocity, and we get the volume of fluid per unit time that flows through. What happens when the cross-sectional area changes? Well, it turns out that it doesn't matter how the cross-sectional area changes, the amount of fluid flowing through the pipe must remain constant. So here we can see that the amount of fluid per unit time that flows through the narrow section must equal the amount of fluid that travels through the pipe in the wider section. So if there's more cross-sectional area, that simply means that then the fluid flow must slow down, otherwise you can't keep the two constant. So that means that the product of the cross-sectional area times velocity of any section of pipe must equal the cross-sectional area times velocity of any other section of the pipe. And so that way we can solve for the velocity in another section being equal to the velocity in the first section times the ratio of the area in the first section divided by the area in the second section. When we plug in some numbers, let's say a1 is 0.2, uh, oh that shouldn't be cubed, right? That should be squared. 0.2 squared uh, or meter squared, I should say, velocity 5 meters per second. The second area is now 10 times as big, 2 square meters um, of area. And then you can calculate the velocity in the second section. And so if the cross-sectional area increases by factor 10, that means the velocity must therefore reduce by factor 10. And it then goes from 5 meters per second to 0.5 meters per second because the area is now 10 times as large, or the cross-sectional area, I should say, and that is how it's done.